How's it going? Eat my diction here again with another episode of what not to do on YouTube. And today we're talking about badvertising, which is a phrase I am coining right now, and that means obviously bad advertising. I see this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, and it's just another thing that's frowned upon and makes you look like a douche, basically. So, number one is advertising your channel or your videos in the comment section of more popular videos. Don't do that. Nope. Please don't do that. If I see that in any of my video comment sections, I remove the comment. Normally, I don't like doing that, but when that happens, it's just like, dude, there are, there are better, more effective ways to get your content noticed by people, and leeching onto someone else's video is not one of those things. Now, there's a difference between doing that and making an actual video response. A video response is fine if it's actually pertaining to the video that you're responding to. I get a lot of video responses that have nothing to do with what my original video was. They're just people trying to, like, leech onto the, the view count, essentially. Don't do that. If you're going to make a video response, make it legitimate and, and relevant. Because otherwise you're just being a douchebag, basically. And, uh... <clears throat> This also goes for live streams. A lot of the time live on live streams, people will just jump in there and start posting links to their channel, or they'll spam saying like, hey guys, go check out my channel, here's my username, da 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 And um, please don't do that. That's just annoying. It's obnoxious, and uh, there are, like, if you, if you make a good impression on people in their streams, they'll let you link your channel or something like that. If, you, if you're a really cool person, and you ask, like, hey, is it cool if I link my channel, you know, sometimes they'll be like, yeah, go for it, you know? But don't just jump right in there and try to hog attention and try to get people to, to watch your shit through a live, someone else's live stream. That's just rude, basically. And, uh, yeah, don't do that. Please don't do that. And also on uh, channel comments, I mean, that's kind of, I don't know, it, it annoys me a little bit, but whatever. I, I see it a lot of people will post channel comments that, saying, like, hey, go check out my channel, da 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 Doesn't really work. And um, the number one thing that uh, people don't, that people still do, and it boggles my mind because they don't seem to understand uh, how, how it works, is box for box, sub for sub. Which is a really, really extreme form of bad advertising, if you ask me. And uh, <clears throat> everyone knows what that is. That's basically you you talk to someone, you send someone a message to say, Hey dude, if you put me in your sub box, I'll put you in mine. Or if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. And people seem to think that's a good way to gain an audience. But it's not. It's a good way to... It's a... Not even good. It's a fucking pitiful way to gain subscribers. But they're going to be dead subs. Like, if, if you're in someone's box and they have no idea what your content is, they just see your name there, the incentive to click on your name is very, very, very small. And from that, even, they'll, they'll, they'll click, they'll subscribe, there's no guarantee they'll actually watch your videos or continue to watch your videos if they have. <clears throat> so sub for sub just doesn't work. Okay, and I get a lot of messages from people saying, hey, sub for sub, sub for sub, box for box, box for box. No, I will never do that. I subscribe to people whose content I enjoy on a regular basis, and I put people in my sub box who are my friends and who are also people whose content I enjoy on a regular basis. That's what I do, and that's what a lot of people do, because it's just how it makes sense, you know? You don't just, like, throw someone in your fucking box because they asked and because they do your, they're doing you the same fucking favor it doesn't help anything and i get a lot of and every so often i'll get people saying like i'll tell people this I'm like dude it's it doesn't fucking work it gets you dead subs and it's not going to help your channel at all and people are like no dude i i started off with like 200 subscribers and now i have 500 from this i'm like okay but how many views do you get on your videos like Oh, like 20? Like, exactly. Exactly, dude. If you want to if you want to grow a fucking audience, you need to prove it. You need to prove that you're worthy of their uh, attention. And a lot of people don't seem to understand that. They think that if they just get their name out there, that's good enough. But it's not. you got to get your content out there. And that's not going to happen if you just show up in someone's box randomly and you guys have no affiliation other than that. So, my, my, my advice, don't. Don't bother with that. Just don't. If you if you want to gain an audience, you really have to grab their attention with your content, not with your name, not with your little channel logo, which is super cool and photoshopped and all that bullshit. <clears throat> Just no. And uh, this last part, I'm kind of calling someone out. I'm not trying 
to like make them feel bad. They, I'm not going to say names or anything. This is a recent thing, and this has happened every so often. Not not that not that common, but it's a the sponsorship channels, which I don't trust. I have never trusted since the beginning of my time here on YouTube. And what what you send me a message or a, a comment or something is saying. Hey, I've got 40k subs. I'll sponsor you if you. Uh, and then, like, if you go on his channel, it says like all these things, all these hoops you have to jump through to get sponsored on the channel. You have to box for, you have to sub them, box them, give them a shout out in one of your videos, da 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 da, and then he'll sponsor you or whatever. He'll show one of your videos on his channel. The thing that, like, really struck me as like a red alert on this thing was that his his view average was pitiful. It was fucking pitiful. He got less than 40. He's got 40k subs. And I looked at all of his videos, and not a single one of them broke, like, 3K. And that's just kind of a red flag right there. And I feel bad for anyone who thinks that they're getting uh, a ton of exposure on that channel, because it's just kind of... I don't know. It's just kind of backwards logic. Um, and I don't trust sponsored channels unless they really have, like, good... They have good content, and they have good marketing. And, I'll, and I know it seems like a, a really, really... Like something you really, really should try to do, try to get sponsored by a channel. But that's there's a difference between community channels and sponsor channels, and I, I, I generally will go more towards the community channels than the sponsor channels. That's just me. Um, even though I don't necessarily agree with most community channels or the way they're run, but there's nothing wrong with getting together and posting gameplay on someone's channel. But uh, yeah, if you <clears throat> bottom line is bad advertising. If you want to get your content out there, you can't just try to rattle the cage and, 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 and throw your name out there and your link out there and think that people are going to go in there and enjoy your content. they got to know you. They have to know who you are and what you're about. And, yeah, that's today's episode. Thank you very much for listening. Hey guys, recently I joined Chilled Chaos, Test Smarty, and Galm for some Castle Crashers videos, and those are going up on Chilled Chaos's uh, channel, so please click this link and go check them out, they're really fun. See? Fucking <laughs> weird! <laughs> I have a sandwich, I just realized that. I think we should let the people decide. No, I have a sandwich. I have three sandwiches. I, I have a sandwich. sandwich. And those things are amazing. We should let the people decide. Pee Wee Herman? Freaky, creepy pedophile, or just some guy who was just oh, wrong place, wrong time.